Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I actually had a bunch of requests to do um, a no makeup makeup look, you know, like an everyday look. Um, so uh, I'm going to start by doing that today. So that'll be my first, if not my only look today, but I'm going to well, let you guys watch me get ready for my day. All right. So what you already missed um, that I already did uh, was you um, my skincare. I do that every morning um, and night. Um, in the morning, I use uh, Lancome Concentrate, Youth Activating Concentrate. So it's this right here. Um, it's very good. I, I really like it. I, I love the, how the, the packaging is. Um, it's a trapper. But then when you look, when you twist it, the top goes back down and it gets more of the product. It's actually really cool. Uh, so I use that, and then I use um, the, uh, so I use like an eye cream, which is, which is great here. Um, this is the, um, the travel size, and then I have the bigger size right here, and this is um, Estee Lauder. I know it says it's a advanced night repair cream, but it also works um, during the day too. I use this in the morning as well. Um, and then uh, for my night time, what I use, oh, and then I'll use this over or under my eye cream, sorry. This is uh, Estee Lauder Revitalizing Youth Power Cream. I use that in the mornings. I don't use that at night. Then I use at night, the serum I use is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, which is right here. Um, I love it, love it, love it. And this has like a dropper as well. Works very good. I use that one at night. So, the only things that I prepped my skin with, with was I obviously used my skincare. And then I used a primer, a mattifying primer. I tend to have more oily skin. Um, so, I want more of a mattified look, not more of a wet look. Because... I feel the more shiny your face looks, especially when you have oily skin, the more texture that shows through. So I'm not trying to do that. And I'm trying to minimize my pores as well. So I'm going to stick with Milani No Pore Zone. So it's this right here. I've been using this for a little bit. Um, I like it. It's all right. Um, I also use the No, what is it? No Pore Prob, No Pore Blum Primer. That's pretty um, smart. Pretty good marketing. Um... What else? I think that's it. Oh, and the foundation I use, I just used a Milani um, Natural Beige um, Conceal and Perfect. So it's right here. I'm almost done with it. As you can see, it's, it's, uh, it's Natural Beige. It is this around this time of year? This is that's what my skin color is. Uh, okay, so um, we're gonna start with eyebrows. I think first. So how I norm oh before I start um also for the guys out there that do makeup um or just or don't but just want to have like a you know a beard beard that's shaped up I suggest one of these um I used to have a comb on here obviously I'm rough with it broke that um but uh you just want to like go here and you go here and then you shave and it creates this nice line. A lot of people ask me how I get my makeup in my, like, around my beard, to, you know, to match my skin tone. I don't think it's that hard. I really don't. Um, okay, so back to where we were starting. So we're going to do eyebrows first. So with the eyebrows, I need to find my, an eyebrow pencil. Um, let me find it just a second. I use like a different, different um, colors of the eyebrow pencils. I usually use like a dark brown or a black, um, depending on what kind of look I'm going with that day. But um, in the type of eyebrow pencil, like some people use pomades, these, and then 
with these brush brushes, I think that's great for like detailing at the end after you've already shaped out your eyebrows. It's um, to fill in spots or to uh, so it doesn't look patchy. Your eyebrow doesn't look patchy, or to um, kind of even create the line. But I don't see that the at least this type of pomade that I've used. This is the Tattoo Studio Mayb Maybelline. At least I don't see. I mean, I used to when I first started doing eyebrows. I think I did use pomade, but um, I like eyebrow pencils better. And the eyebrow pencil that I usually go with is the Secret of Pharaoh. Um, it's a micro brow pencil, so it's like the type that, I don't know if you can see this, but it's the type that has like the twist up top. See, that's I like that because then you can, okay, I'm just going to shut now. All right, and before I know I was doing um, videos with um, videos in here and commentary in the background, but I didn't, I feel I should get down um, how to create a video for this before I add anything else in, into it. So let's get started. Sorry, I was looking for my favorite eyebrow pencil and I can't seem to find it. But once I'm done, oh, I found it. I was going to say, once I'm done with the tutorial, then it, then I'm going to find it. That always seems to happen. But um, this one I've been using quite for quite a little while right now. It's lasting a long time. It's um, the MAC um, Spiked Eyebrow Styler. Um, it's this one. And it is in... I don't know what the shade is. But anyway, so what I do... So I already have foundation on. I put the foundation on, or the skincare primer foundation. And now I'm going to do my eyebrows. There's not really specific steps to doing makeup. Um, everybody has kind of their own way to do it. Um, there's no right way. Um, so... So then I use, oh, I'm sorry. So I use this MAC Brow Gel, um, Brow Set, sorry. Um, and that's just, so all my brow hairs are going in the same direction. Okay. So, how I normally do my eyebrows is I get a little sponge to rest on my face. So I'm not putting my hand on my face to wipe the foundation off. And I pull my eyebrow and I start at the, See here. And then there's the first line, so I do the line across, and then I bring it over. Okay, and then we'll clean it up a little bit so I fill in a little in here. You never fill in your eyebrow. You don't fill it in all the way to the end. It makes it look blocky. So what you do is you fill in this part right here, and then you sweep your spoolie across there, and then you sweep it forward. So that way you have an even ombre look. You don't have like a blocky eyebrow. So then you go like that with the same, same on this side and you bring it forward. Okay, so we got the, the bottom part of our eyebrow. So then how we do the top part is, let's bring the pencil up a little bit more. So, oop, I use this. I just found that when I use my finger on my face, I tend to, it tends the oils from my skin tend to wipe the foundation off. So and then all they do is I start from the start from right here. Don't start from up here. Start from back here. And then you oh I messed up a little bit, but it doesn't matter because we can just cut it with concealer. So you want to make sure that you're shaping them correctly. See how this one. Is a little thicker than this one, so I gotta cut this one down some when I do the concealer. Okay, so now I gotta conceal. So when I conceal, uh, when I use a uh, concealer, I use that to kind of clean up the bottom of my eyebrow. 
so I can show you now. So the two type of brushes I use for this um, are, I use like a, this one came with my brush, um, it's called, uh, or not brush, came with my brow set. Um, this is a billion dollar brushes. Um, I really enjoy getting there because they have like a, a, cons or a highlighter for your eyebrow, like a, a mark or a crayon type of thing. Um, and then they have the eyebrow, uh, they have this brush, and I just like the, the flat end so you can get like a clean cut in your eyebrow. Or I also use. Um, this is the uh, Morphe E62 brush. I'm not a huge fan of Morphe brushes, honestly. When I first got them um, back in the day when they were popular, um, I was so obsessed with them. Like I, I got the James Charles Morphe fucking collection. Sorry, excuse my language. Um, and I was wicked ecstatic. Loved, loved, loved it. I was like, oh, I got the whole Morphe set. I'm living. And then I realized that you clean them a couple of times. And the, the this part, the glue in here just separates and the whole head of this comes out. You know how many Morphe brushes I've lost just from cleaning them? So I think Morphe was kind of like a, um, like, oh, it's what's popular now. So everybody was doing it. Whereas like some of the pigments in the palettes are really 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 nice and some of them are really really patchy so um, the the quality wasn't consistent uh, that I found with Morphe and that's probably why they're bankrupt or they the, or they no longer are as popular as they once were um, I think they got caught up too much in the influencer um, scene too which also destroyed their business but I digress um, so now I'm gonna cut my eyebrows and you want to use like a light concealer, but you don't want to use concealer that's going to be like, like for instance, I'm using a foundation that's um, natural beige. So I'm not going to go and get an ivory concealer to cut my um, eyebrow or eye, yeah, eyebrows because it would just look funny as I'm holding an ivory concealer. It's funny. So um, yeah, so let me find my concealer shade. So this one's in beige. Buff. This one's M150. This is CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. Um, this type of concealer. Not a huge fan of it, I gotta say. It's not one of my favorite concealers. Um, I noticed that when I use it as a eyelid primer too, I noticed that it um, creases. See, um, oh, well maybe it's partly my foundation too, because I noticed my foundation does that too. So, um, yeah. Um, but again, these are the products that I have right now, and these are what I'm working with. So, um, now, buff, buff, buff. So, now I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. And what I do is I grab my brush. Okay. So I'm going to use this one today. You see how it's curved? So I can grab it right here. Ooh. Grab it right here. Grab this. And then start here. But look how much cleaner. So what you do now with that is I use this other brush. And you blend it down. So you blend it this this like this blend it down do you notice the difference between the bottom of this eye and the bottom of this eye so it cleans up your whole eyebrow and it kind of lifts it with the concealer you get like a lifted effect from it so that's nice Alright, so there's one eye, and then I'm going to do the other one. Okay, so bring this out, and then...
yeah, it just cleans it right up. I, like, ever since I started doing that, cleaning up my eyebrows with concealer, uh, it seems to be a game changer. Okay, so. And then now, you see how this one is higher up than this one? So I gotta cut this down. Because, okay, so when I used to do eyebrows, when I used to do my own eyebrows, um, in the early 20s, they were very, very thin. Okay, or early 200s, or wow, early 2000s. They were really, really thin. Um, but as they started, as the time started changing and eyebrows became more of a thing, they became thicker and um, more curved. So I was doing them curved and thicker, or yeah, broader for a little while. But then I realized that if I did my eyebrows this way, it kind of has a lifting effect on my face. So, um, I just changed my eyebrow shape recently, and I gotta say that I love it. Okay. There's this. Do you see now? They're around the same, but when I, okay, so I gotta put, why do I gotta put white over here now? Because it's going to highlight the top of the one side and not highlight the top of the other. I don't have to cut it at all. But then if I bring it over to, if you bring it across, you can have an even eyebrow. You know what I mean? Okay, so you got your eyebrows done. And do you see the ombre a little? Ombre? Ombre? Okay, so I gotta fill in. Now, this is where I would use the pomade. So, with the pomade, um, where did I put it? Here it is. So with the pomade, what I would do is get a little bit on my brush, put this right here, and then then you darken up the lines. See how you darken up the lines like that? Make it look so much better. Okay. See how? Okay. But you see that? You got like that ombre look? Okay. Alright. Okay, so now we did the eyebrows. And now with that, because I have um, uh, foundation on already, I have to blend back, blend out the foundation over here. Okay, and I can leave some of the highlight in there. Okay. There's that, there's that. Okay, so now. Now we're going to use concealer. So um, under the eyes now. So again, with the concealer, you're going to want to use something that's 
couple of shades lighter than what you're using foundation wise, but it doesn't mean you're using ivory. I see that a lot. I see a lot of people using like a very, very white concealer, but using um, a more um, warmer toned foundation and it's like five or six shades different and it doesn't look right. So also another tip that I figured out. Um, also when you watch YouTube videos, like, okay. When you watch YouTube videos on here um, with like beauty influencers, you're going to realize that um, the makeup looks that they're doing is in front of like a lot of lights. So there's a lot of reflection going on um, and it won't look nearly as good outside of that lighting on like a regular day as it would behind a camera and lights and all that. So just keep in mind to not like really pack on. I know like for instance with the, con the whole concealer thing when it comes to um, beauty influencers I feel like they do the most. Um, but that's just me. So for instance like okay, what is this? Light? No I'm not going to use light. What's this? Ooh golden natural. I can use this. Okay. But you see that? See how it's light? It's like not like horribly light, but it's a lot lighter than. Okay, so what I do is I put one right here, one right here. I get my beauty blender. And then I blend it up into here first. And then out. Because. I want most of the concealing or the reflection of the concealer to be right here, right, right here. That's where I want it most to reflect. See how? But okay. So I mean, that doesn't really read on the on the camera that well. But trust me when I tell you, it made a difference. Okay. So bring it up, keep bringing it up in here, and then bring it out, bring it out. Okay, so I got that, got that. A little bit in here to create that light in the middle of my forehead. And then bring it down into your nose. Okay, so I got that, got that. Okay, then after you're done, after I'm done with that, I tend to set my face. Um, so I did this tip or this makeup hack that I found um, on YouTube. I think um, it was mixing a setting powder, a translucent setting powder, with a blush. Um, I didn't think it worked the best. I didn't think it worked that great. Um, maybe I didn't do it right, or maybe the products I was using weren't right, but uh, I've heard that it's a good hack, and maybe I just have to use better quality products um, in order to create that. But, okay, so now I just powder my face, or powder my under eyes, and want to I don't want to powder my entire face, okay. So now, I get a contour pat, or a, what is this, a bronzer and blush duo. So what I do with this is I will put a little bit of the bronzer on my nose um, just to create depth. You'll see. It looks weird right now, but it will all work itself out. Okay. So then I get, again, you're going to want to use like the same concealer you're using underneath your eyes. Um, and I put this here. So what I do is I dun, dun. I put a little bit right there. And then it brings, it brings the, the, Is that? Okay. So 
So I got that. And it's kind of going to shape out the nose. And then... <coughs> Excuse me. And then I am going to uh, shape it back out. So with this, I want to use like a little tiny bit of the blush and a, more of the bronzer. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. And then you're going to want to use your fan brush on both sides and kind of chisel out your nose. And bring it all the way up to your eyes. Like under here, under your eyebrows. Okay. And then I'm going to use the powder again. I want to diffuse some of that. And then okay. Now get the there. Okay. So now I got that done. Okay, so now I'm going to use my contour stick by Fenty. Um, this one is in truffle. And just do it on the sides, right there, right there. I'm going to use my beauty blender and some setting spray. And I work it upwards. I don't work it downwards. I work it upwards. Because if you work it downwards, it's going to bring down your face. Like the, like, I feel like if you go upwards with like your products, like this type of product, it's gonna give you a, a face like a lifting effect. So it's gonna look more flattering. Whereas if you brought it down, it's just going to give your appearance of, you, like a, of your face dropping a little bit. And you don't want that. You're trying to accentuate um, certain characteristics about yourself. You're not trying to make them look worse. Okay, so there's that. And then I use a little bit of my blush color that I really, uh, this color is amazing. I love it. Can't say enough about this. Um, I'm not too versed in Benefit. I know Benefit has, um, definitely has some good products. Um, I've had a couple things by Benefit. Um, I really was into their eyebrow pencils a while ago. Um, I know they were known for those, but, um, so there's this, there's this, and so there's, there's the blush, so I got the blush on, and now I just need, <sighs> I want to set my under eyes a little bit more, right here. Um, right here, with this it's supposed to be translucent. It looks kind of white to me, but whatever. It's doing the job. It's going to reflect what I need it to reflect. Okay, so we got that done. Um, also, um, I tend to... Where's the pencil that I had? Bam, 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 where are you, where are you? Are you right here? Okay, so what I do on my beard, is I draw a line, kind of, and then I blend it out, so you got that. And 
It just helps to make your my beard more uniform and um, even. So, um, okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to use... So with eyelashes, what I tend to do is I use this um, Lancome uh, Sales Booster XL. So it's this right here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but it's a white, um, so it's a light eyelash extender. So what I do is I put this in here. bottom lashes it kind of helps prime them so the um mascara sticks onto the lash and also separates them too so you can get a good i make the weirdest faces when i do makeup i'm not gonna lie i know i do so feel free to write that in the comments that you enjoy seeing all the faces that i make um okay again this is what annoys me i don't know if you can see it but there's like um, creasing in, on my lid from the um, foundation. It's not the concealer, it's the foundation. So am I loving it? No, but what do I expect from, I mean, I shouldn't say that because um, Milani does have some decent products, but um, yeah, now I got some makeup on my hair. It's all good. It'll all come off. Okay, so now, actually, uh, was put on to this mascara um, by my fiance's sister. Um, I love it, love it, love it. I've never even heard of this. Actually, it's funny because um, this is what it looks like. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Looks a little different. So I was surprised when I first got it. I'm like, what is this? Um, maybe not around the kids. And, but then I realized <laughs> it's mascara, so thank you. Um, also, Beauty Counter, um, I've tried, so far I've tried some of their body scrub or body lotions and a mascara. This is Better Black. Um, also, I have what I was just using with the Beauty Counter. This is um, a cream um, blush. Uh, so, right here. And that is in... Um, it's called Cheeky Clean Cream Blush. So, there's that. Okay. So, let me do my eyelashes now. I know I make weird faces. I know I make weird faces, guys. It's actually a lot easier to talk through to this video than the prior ones. Oh, did I see that? Just stab myself in the eye. Ew. But, um, when I don't have to focus on what I'm talking about, that's on the TV. So I appreciate all of the constructive criticism. I don't take it negatively. I see it as a way to improve. Um, and you have to stay reachable to remain teachable. So that's what I always say. So... Thank you again, and if you guys have any other comments or have any other things that you think would help um, better this channel, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'm just starting out, so uh, I don't really know. Um, well, I do know. I, I, I want to make makeup videos, but I mean, um, it's going to take a while for me to get my setup and everything, but I just want to start off by getting comfortable on the camera. And if you guys get to know me better, um, feel free to ask me any questions down below. 
um, any comments, any type of video that you would like to see me um, create. Um, I actually am an artist as well. I draw. I do a lot of street art, like a lot of graffiti. Um, and cartoonish type of things. But I enjoy art in many aspects. Um, I think it makes life a lot more exciting. And, um, and I love the fact that I finally become okay with uh, people knowing that I wear makeup. It was a huge struggle for me throughout my life to be comfortable with who I was because I was around a lot of people that um, didn't really, uh, wasn't really cool, weren't really cool with uh, gay people. So it's just nice that um, I'm actually in a space. And a headspace that's comfortable and I'm my authentic self, but also I'm in a space with a loving, supporting fiance. Um, I can't say enough about. And um, but other than that, the makeup look is pretty much done. I just have to use some setting spray. Use my fan. Okay, and um, also another note, um, I'm gonna do, I wanna do a video of like makeup hacks, like tips and tricks, um, what works and what doesn't. Um, so I wanna also do that as well. Also, um, make sure, this is a huge thing, make sure that when you do your makeup, you don't forget about your ears when you do the foundation. Also, you don't forget, you don't want your skin tone on your face not to match the skin tone on your neck or on your chest, it looks weird. And it's obvious you're wearing makeup. But that was my makeup look for today. And thank you for getting ready with me. Again, my name is Alex. And thank you for watching. Bye.